Uh, welcome to the information session for Star Peninsula. I appreciate uh, those that are here and those that RSVP'd. This is being recorded so that the recording will be sent out uh, later this afternoon sometime so that you can refer back to it later. This is talking about Start Peninsula. I have been the, uh, my name is Tim Ryan. I have been the, I guess, program director, coordinator. I've been a I've been involved in Star Peninsula ever since the very beginning. This is our 13th year in doing this. We continue to evolve the program uh, and make it better. Very proud of uh, the results that we have been able to uh, help businesses achieve. We'll get into that here in a couple slides. Uh, but this is a platform to validate your business idea. So... You don't necessarily need to have customers. You don't have to have uh, generated revenue. Uh, so what I mean by validating your business idea, before you go and max out your credit cards, take a second mortgage out on your home, uh, quit your day job, this is a place where you can bring that idea, bring that concept to a panel of judges that have been there, they understand the space, and run that idea past them and then get that initial validation that this is an idea that is worth pursuing. So uh, that way it lowers the risk on your side, uh, and then you're going to have access to people that are in the space, be involved in the community, and then um, get you ingrained into it so that you can uh, be better be better suited for what you're about to embark on. So I'll jump into this. Um, so as I said, it is Star Peninsula is a platform to validate your idea. Just talked about that. Uh, so again, a lot of people are worried that, hey, do I have to have customers? Do I need to, um, you know, have generated a certain amount of revenue? Some people have, but we do cap it. Uh, you know, we want to make sure that the 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 playing field is fair, um, so that a company that a company just can't come in and say, oh, I generated $100,000 of revenue um, and then run the table on the possibility of winning. That is not the case with this. Um, it truly is to validate your business idea. With that, who can participate? So anyone with a business idea or that has an early stage business. Um, literally, we have seen companies that have just had ideas written on a napkin. Uh, when you when you pitch your business, we don't necessarily want you to pitch off of a napkin, but uh, it is for the early stage businesses. Uh, Hampton Rows businesses or uh, will be located within the 757 uh, region when the business opens. So one of the things that's can, uh, that can be somewhat confusing, it's called Start Peninsula, but anybody within Hampton Rows can participate. Thanks to uh, the localities of Start Pen uh, of the peninsula, they are the ones that fund this operation. So uh, the city of Hampton, Newport News, Pocosin, Williamsburg, James City County, and York County, they're the, uh, the funding organizations that, uh, that make this happen. So that's, that is why it is called Start Peninsula. So as I said, we like to keep the, um, the playing field fair. So... We don't accept people that have been into a business accelerator um, or companies that have uh, raised capital before. We want to that that once you've once you've gone to an accelerator or once you've raised money from investors, participating in Star Peninsula then is kind of a step backwards. So we you've you've already proved your uh, your business or validated your business once you've gone to an accelerator or raised capital. So. We want to keep that that playing field uh, fair and level. And what we're looking for is we're looking for sc a, a scalable business. And what I mean by that is we're not looking, we, we want there to be the opportunity to generate a significant amount of revenue or have a significant number of employees. And what do I mean by significant? Um, we don't want just a one-off type of place that... I want to build a business that is going to be me and just me for here and ever and ever. Uh, so we're 
we're not looking for someone who wants to become a real estate agent or a a, a one-off hair design, hair boutique kind of uh, thing or a, a barber of some kind. We want you to have that vision of we want it to grow. We want it to be successful and have the opportunity to generate revenue and um, eventually get to the point where you hire multiple people. So that is what we mean by scalable. It is not just tech related, although we do have a lot of tech businesses that participate. Um, but we want you to challenge the status quo and come up with a unique way of doing your business. So I did mention that uh, really proud of some of the success stories that we have had that have participated with Instar Peninsula. So we have had a deal on Shark Tank um, that did get a, uh, uh, a deal with three of the judges, which is really, really cool. Um, I had talked about business accelerators. So this is a, a great step. You go through something like Star Peninsula, you validate your, uh, your business idea, and then you can go to an incubator or an accelerator. So we've had 11 businesses. Actually, we just found out two days ago that another company was just accepted uh, into an accelerator. So that really is 12 um, that have gone on to an accelerator. For those that don't know what a business accelerator is, that is a, um, a typically a 12 to 16 week program that focuses on uh, bringing, making your company investable uh, to make it more appetizing for investors. So uh, when you go through an accelerator, it is with that mindset of, I go through this for 12 to 16 weeks, and hopefully with the, upon graduation, raising money from investors. Uh, so the second largest hard apple cidery, uh, they were the very first winner that we had uh, in Star Peninsula back when we first started. So that is Busky Cider. So if you see them in the grocery stores or their taps across Virginia, uh, that's where they they started. And that was truly just an idea. They had, yeah, they were like, hey, hard apple cider is going to be a thing. I want to pitch this. They did it and they've been doing it ever since. Uh, we've had someone appear at the White House uh, for Entrepreneurship Week. Uh, and we have uh, surpassed $34 million in capital raised. Um, so this is this truly is the platform for businesses to get started. This is this is where the journey begins. And really, really proud of what we've been able to do. So the process to participate in Start Peninsula is you apply to pitch. Uh, so if you go to startpeninsula.com, you hit apply. We will uh, take a look at the application and make sure that it's approved, uh, that everything is good to go. We will approve it. Um, that generally will, will, will get that turned around within 24 to 48 hours. Uh, it really is just to make sure that everything is above board. We don't want anything kind of sketchy. Um, quite honestly, it, it just, again, above board. We would, because this is funded by localities, it has to pass like the, the uh, pilot media test. Yeah, we we want to make sure that any company that's a winner, um, that it would, we want to make sure that if there was a headline out that they won and it was funded by the localities, that it's above board. Um, but then you would go ahead and you'll be given the link to purchase your pitch ticket. And the reason that uh, purchase is in quotation marks is because um, if you attend Pitch Perfect. Uh, and then go on to pitch your, uh, pitch your business, then we will refund that uh, the cost of that pitch ticket. We only require uh, someone to make that purchase is because we want to make sure that uh, that you attend. We do, we Every single micro pitch uh, competition sells out. We cap each one at 10 pitchers. And the last thing we want to have happen is someone secure one of those 10 slots, and then they just don't show up. So you purchase your ticket, attend Pitch Perfect. We'll teach you everything there is to know about pitching your business. We'll give you the rubric, uh, what the judges are going to be scoring you on. Um, we will continue to help you uh, perfect that uh, the pitch, craft it, get it to where you need to be. You attend the micro pitch competition. Uh, and if you, we're, we're pretty confident that if you attend Pitch Perfect, go through the micro pitch competition, 
Uh, we'll, I'll get into the stats here, I think, in the next slide, but then you would attend the final pitch event in November. Uh, so if you do that, I think seven of the eight, uh, seven of the 10 people that are, um, will advance to the next round in a micro pitch event and two of the three winners typically have all gone through pitch perfect pitch perfect is taught by myself and Gary plague Gary plague was a uh, he's been teaching uh, communication skills for 20 plus years uh, doing stints at George Mason William and Mary and um, amongst other institutions so he does uh he approaches the pitch from a performance standpoint. I've been in the early stage game uh, and am an investor myself. So I understand the business aspect between the two. We teach you everything that you need to know. And um, the results are are pretty impressive with someone who has never pitched before to what they're able to do once we're once we're done working with them. So speaking of pitch perfect, uh, the, again, that is where we teach everything, teach you everything that you need to know. It's a very low threat environment. So we do it on Zoom. We'll go through a slide deck of this is what you need to have in your pitch. We'll give you the opportunity to uh, practice your pitch. And so there are the stats that I was talking about. Seven out of 10 finalists have gone through pitch perfect. Two out of three winners historically have gone through pitch perfect. Those are the dates that uh, that we have that are upcoming. Uh, all of that is available on StarPeninsula.com. Uh, the links to, uh, to to get yourself registered. Um, pitch Perfect is typically two hours. So that first hour we go over what is involved in the pitch. And then that second hour is to give people the opportunity to practice. And literally, uh, so when we go through that deck, we just tell everybody, hey, while we talk about what needs to be in that pitch, Grab a pen and piece of paper. And so, for example, you have to solve a problem. You know, so the problem that I'm trying to solve is solve is write that down. And then we'll go through the different requirements. This we go directly off of the rubric that the judges use. So there's no secrets uh, at all when it comes to um, what we're doing. And this is all stuff that you're going to need for as long as you continue to pursue uh, pursue this business. Um, the rules of the micro pitch, uh, so you must apply. It is that $50 deposit to pitch. We limit it to 10 people, um, really from a time standpoint, it's, it's a very fast paced event. Um, you're allowed to use slides. You're allowed to use props, demos, all that is, uh, is on the table. You'll be uh, presenting to three judges, and it's a three-minute pitch followed uh, by a two-minute question, two question and answer period. And then the, th the top three of each micro pitch, they will then advance to the micro pitch, the final uh, event uh, that, will be, that will be held in November. And that, rep that will represent, we have four micro pitch competitions that, that will then represent the top 12 uh, businesses of the year that will then compete for the the top three spots. And again, if you attend Pitch Perfect and you do um, pitch at the micro pitch event, we will refund you for the cost of those tickets. We're not trying to make money uh, on pitch pitch tickets. That's just again the localities; they are the ones that uh, provide the funding for this, and it is just to make sure that you have a little skin in the game and show up. Some people get scared. Um, so we just want to make sure that all slots are used to the to the benefit of the people that want to participate. Uh, so I mentioned that there's going to be three judges about the judges. Um, we spend a lot of time making sure that each judge has experience in angel investing or venture capital. Uh, that they understand what early stage startups uh, are all about in early stage small businesses. And they want to see you succeed. This is not a, a stump the chump type of event. This is not to make anyone feel bad or embarrass anyone. Um, they just, they are there and they they want to be, uh, to see you successful. Um, they they may or may not be the same judges at all the uh, the four different micro pitch events. 
and some of them they they may be invited to the final um championship pitch event uh of in in November. All the judges are going to be listed on our website. So I would recommend that you do a little uh you know check them out on LinkedIn, check out their bios, see who they are, what their areas of expertise are, uh what kind of makes them tick. Um all of if you go to our the Star Peninsula YouTube channel, all of our previous competitions are there to see. Um, so I would also recommend looking at like what type of questions that they ask. Um, it really is just to, they want to see you succeed and be successful. But uh, this is an area that we spend a lot of time on primarily because when a company, when a, a pitcher does not get through, it's always the judge's fault. Uh, it's just the nature of 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 how it works. So we we spend a lot of time to make sure that they know the space, they know it very well. Um, and so that it's not the judge's fault if, if someone doesn't advance. The typical roadmap in terms of how Star Peninsula works is that, uh, you know, again, I mentioned this, but you'll attend Pitch Perfect, you go through the micro pitch, and then you advance to the main event. I mean, that really... Uh, I, I, th I personally think that there is advantage if you participate in one of the earlier micro pitch uh, competitions. Um, so because once you advance, then you can work on refining that business. Uh, it gives you time to prepare for the main event in November. Um, on the flip side, say you have a bad night and your pitch doesn't go as planned you can then reapply to participate in micro pitch two, three, or four. So uh, that that option is there. Some people, like I said, they get nervous and they they put it off and they don't want to participate until like the micro pitch in October. Then you're kind of putting all your eggs in that October basket. And if you then if you have a bad night, well then unfortunately you're going to have to wait until next year. But um, that is the typical roadmap. I do say. Uh, participate as early as you can. Um, but I think when I last checked, there's only four slots left for uh, the micro pitch event next month. So uh, we, again, I, everyone sells out. So uh, take advantage and, and secure those spots as soon as, as soon as you can. Um, when the, regarding the final pitch, um, I there, it is that consists of the top three from each of the four micro pitches, uh, micro pitch events. That represents the top twelve, as I mentioned. There is no cost to pitch there. Um, you advance, then you you participate. Slides, props, all that stuff is allowed, just like it was before. We will move from three judges to five judges. Um, same deal: three minute pitch, two minute question and answer period. The top three pitchers. Uh, that all receive five hundred, or I'm sorry, five thousand uh, dollars in seed funding, and that date is incorrect on the um, uh, for that event. So I will make sure that is updated. It is actually November sixth. That is uh, that is the date for the final pitch. Uh, so do not use that on the slide. Um, in terms of the, the typical 757 regional roadmap, uh, how things work, again, Star Peninsula is the start. This is where you're going to get on the highway, so to speak. Step two would be an accelerator program. And then once you complete an accelerator program, then you are primed for seed funding uh, so that you can raise money through an angel group, angel investor, or whatever the case is. But uh, most recently, the, the same held, so it just happened, like I said, a couple days ago, one of the winners from la uh, November was just accepted into Lighthouse Labs. That is an accelerator program that it is uh, in Richmond. So um, again, the model works. This is exactly what it is that we're trying to do, uh, validate the idea so that you can be, um, go into that next phase. Um, and each each accelerator is different, but I think that they received $25,000 and 
uh, in funding. They go through their 12 week program. The last week or two is typically just dedicated to uh, pitching to investors so that you can then raise money. Frequently asked questions. Uh, does my business need to be a tech business? It does not. We do look for businesses that are scalable, like I said, that uh, are have an innovative approach of doing things. Um, why do I need to pay for my pitch ticket? Hopefully, I um, explain that enough. Uh, it really is to make sure that you have skin in the game. How much does it cost for a general uh, admission ticket to watch? Those are that is all free. So uh, we'll invite the audience to. Uh, to attend the micro pitch competitions. And in terms of who is the in the audience for those people that watch, that can be potential customers. It could be potential, uh, potential uh, co-founders. It could be investors. We have had uh, investors want to be connected with certain companies uh, because they would like to learn more and get more involved. So do think, uh, although you're pitching to the judges, think about that secondary uh, audience that will be that you will either be watching live or watching a replay. Uh, will I need to purchase a pitch ticket if I want to try try a second micro pitch pitch event? Yes, you will be, um, and that is just because the demand is so high for um, for the for the events. I will get. I will. Uh, How is the pitching order determined? We go in reverse order. So the first person to purchase their uh, their pitch ticket will pitch last. So then the it's just reverse chronological uh, chronological order. So the last person to purchase their uh, purchase their pitch ticket will go first. Um, that's just the easiest way to do it. And th to me, I there is an advantage of going later just because we do have these uh these pitches are rapid fire events and uh it's just a lot of information the judges have a rubric that they fill out their scores um but it's just a lot of information that they're capturing within a short period of time so if you go last then you're you can be more memorable but not always the case so who is attendance? Like I said, it could be people that are supporting entrepreneurs, that people that love this space. It could be potential investors. It could be potential customers. Um, we have a very well-rounded audience of people that uh, that will watch. Will someone steal my idea? This is always something that comes up. We don't do N uh, NDAs or non-disclosure agreements. You should not be talking about or sharing any information that is protectable. In a three-minute pitch, you keep things really, really high level anyway. Um, so there is nothing that is going to be there. There's no secret sauce, if you will, that will be passed on. Um, and another thing when it comes to stealing ideas is you have the passion for your business, not anyone else. And what what you have with inside you is is, is typically what is going to make that business successful. Other people can take the idea, but they won't know the the intricate details of what it is that you want to do, the why that you possess. So very, very difficult to uh, to steal an idea. Uh, what do I uh, get if I win? So the top three pitchers will uh, all receive $5,000. We are looking to see what other, uh, we will continue to add to those prize packages throughout the course of the year. It could be chamber memberships. It could be free co uh, co-working spaces. We work with the, the community throughout uh, the course of the year, and we will continue to add to the prize packages. Uh, I was approved to pitch. Uh, does that guarantee my position? It does not. So just like airlines and hotels, we will continue to improve, uh, approve pitch tickets until all 10 uh, slots are filled. Once uh, those 10 slots are filled, we will typically uh, include two people to be alternate pitchers. But again, we will sell out every micro pitch competition. 
in every competition it will it, it, it comes up i i was approved to pitch um and the pitch tickets are slow are, are gone can you squeeze me in if we can't so i encourage you all once you're approved to go ahead and secure that that pitch slot by getting that that ticket so that you can secure your position or else it will be gone um that is it i'm going to leave everything up uh open everything up to questions that you may have and if we don't have any questions then you all will get some time back uh but again this is recorded and i will send out the recording to everybody as soon as as soon as i can Does the uh, does the business need to be a Virginia based business? It, yeah, you will need to. Uh, the business does need to be located within the seven five seven area code, or it has to be uh, within the seven five seven area area code when you start your operations. What if it's uh, registered out of state as an LLC, but it's being done in Virginia? It's a virtual software business. Yeah, you would still need a, a local business license. Um, you know, so you'll register. You you would register it within, uh, you know, whatever. So a lot of people are registered Delaware C corporations or whatever, but you still need a local business license when you start generating revenue. So when you do that, uh, you said you're in the Williamsburg area. So whether if it's whatever respective locality you're part of, you would still need a business license to operate your business. Uh, and it's just a matter of having a business license from that, whatever locality that is. But then we'd be qualified to participate in your event? Correct. Yep. Okay. Um, with the today's information, is are you saying the next step is to register to participate and pay the yes. $50? Yeah. First step would be go to starpeninsula.com, hit the apply to pitch. And it's just a really quick questionnaire. If, you, if it takes you longer than three minutes, you spend too much time on it, but it's just who you are, what your address is, what what is your business idea, um, should only take you a couple minutes. And it's, um, are you taking a payment then? Uh, what we'll do then is we'll send you a link to the Eventbrite link, uh, to the Eventbrite uh, event. And from there on Eventbrite, that's when you would uh, secure the the pitch ticket. Okay, and the event is actually done through Zoom, the yes. final yep. in June in November. Yep, everything we do is on Zoom. We used to do them all virtually, but uh, once the pandemic hit, then uh, we did everything on Zoom, and everything is just so efficient and smooth. Uh, we don't have to worry about traffic or anything like that. So, uh, and then the feedback we receive from the participants, they like it on uh, Zoom as well. So we've stuck with it.